close your eyes. Think of the breath sweeping through the body. As we go through the day, we tend to pick up patterns of tension here and there, especially in areas where we're not paying attention. And we tend to carry them around. But we don't have to. Remember that you shape your experience out of the raw material that's coming from the past, but your intentions in shaping the experience can make the difference between whether it's going to be something you suffer from or something you don't suffer from. So bring the intention here that you're going to sweep things out. Think of the breath going all the way down through the feet, all the way down to the hands and the fingers, cleaning up everything in the, that you can find from the top of the head on down. Because when we're sitting here in the body, we're not just sitting here with a given. It's not the case that your past karma forces things to be this way right now. Because there is that element of your present intention. And there are ways of looking at what you have right now to make you realize that you have some choices. The Buddha talks about dhatu, which we translate as element or potential property. And the concept is basically that you've got these latent potentials here, and you're going to provoke some of them by the choices you make, and others get left unprovoked. So there's a potential for ease, there's a potential for well-being. There's even a potential for a rapture right here. It's here in this body you've got sitting here right now with its pains and its aches. But you don't have to focus on the pains and the aches. Focus on the parts of the body that have a good potential right now. Cultivate those parts, and they'll grow. Sometimes it means shifting the focus of your attention. Like that book, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, where they say that if you try to draw a picture of a person and you focus on drawing the eyes and drawing the nose and drawing the mouth, oftentimes you don't end up with a good likeness. But if you pay careful attention and say, you're going to draw the space between the eyes and the nose, the space between the nose and the mouth, the space between the nose and the ears, you're looking at areas that you don't focus on normally. And as you pay attention there, you tend to get a better picture. Through this habit we have of focusing on the pains in the body, try to switch it around. Focus on the areas that are not in pain. Instead of focusing on the patterns of tension, focus the areas that are not in those patterns and see what you can develop there. Because we do have a lot of potentials, both in the body and in the mind. And as John Lee would always say, it's a shame human beings have so many good potentials and yet we don't take advantage of them. So realize you don't have to just sit here and accept whatever comes up. You accept instead the fact that there are potentials here and that you don't know them yet, but you can learn about them. Listen to the teachings that talk about these things and then start exploring on your own. And you'll find that the present moment has a lot more potential than you may have thought. <laughs>